Welcome to the first ever workout commentary on this channel. I'm trying to change the different types of editing for you guys, uh, keep things entertaining. Today it's going to be kind of a gamer style where I'm in the corner talking about today's training session. Today in the gym we hit a pull workout, bodybuilding style. Coach this week prescribed me to do bodybuilding pulling type movements, uh, push movements, leg movements, whatever I feel like. I've been experiencing a lot of tendonitis and things like that, so it's just a little bit of fun training this week. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm starting off with some Pendele rows. Uh, with these guys, I'm going fairly heavy for three sets of eight. I'm getting myself in position as if I'm about to do a conventional deadlift, ripping the bar off the ground just to where my knees clear a good pathway for that bar to travel to my belly button. Directly after these Pendele rows, we hop into some close grip lat pull downs. Uh, with these guys, I had to take my headphones off. That way I could get a full stretch pushing my head through uh, and a full contraction barreling that chest out, uh, squeezing those lats down there at the bottom. Um, some reasons why uh, my training's changing a little bit within these next few weeks, I will be getting a new coach. The current coach I have is doing fantastic. He's doing a great job, uh, but he's very powerlifting specific. And some of my goals are gonna be reaching outside of that type dynamic. So you will be seeing some different style training videos from me in the coming months. Uh, as you guys can see, now we're getting into the football bar neutral grip seal row. With these guys, I'm focusing on a tempo, squeezing the bar up to my chest for about a second or two uh, until fatigue hits. When fatigue hits, I'm just repping those boys out. With these guys, I am going to be doing three sets of 12 here. For those lap pull downs, I don't believe I said I've got four sets of 10 with those lap pull downs prior and then three sets of 12 with the seal rows. Uh, now we're getting into a little superset series, I believe. Uh, these are going to be some cable pull-throughs. As you guys can see, I am rotating from the left to the right. That is allowing me to get a greater contraction of the lat. Again, as I begin to fatigue with those guys, I'll just do some normal pull-throughs. Uh, with those guys, I'm doing three sets of 12, followed by uh, some dumbbell alternating bicep curls. Same thing, three sets of 12 there. Supersetting with very minimal rest in between. Just enough to catch my breath and hop into another set. After this, we have a pretty hardcore bicep workout. If you guys ever trained your calves before and you get that super intense burn in those calves that's pretty vigorous and doesn't tend to leave until like a minute later, this exercise will give you exactly that in your biceps. Uh, with these guys, it's an incline supinated out curl. I don't know the exact name of these guys, um, but that's what we're gonna call it, incline supinated curl. Uh, as you can see, I'm pinning my shoulders back up against the pad, keeping my wrists supinated out the entire time. With these guys, the goal is to get about 10, 12 reps, and then sit there and hold for 10 seconds, and that burn will be kicking in pretty damn fast. And then I'm gonna squeeze out two, three more reps after that 10 second hold. Right after, as you can see, I'm getting into some rear delt flies. These guys, again, were three sets of 12 on each. So, hope you guys enjoyed this workout commentary. If you did, Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, let me know, all that good stuff. Uh, and now I've got some closing thoughts for the remainder of the video. We're in the back space here at the gym. We have some new racks that we had ordered. We have eight of them that had come in. One little thing with these guys that was kind of weird, as you notice, kind of goes up and is a little bit taller up towards the top. Uh, this is actually about two feet taller than our original racks that are in the front when it comes to this front piece. We tried to order them to where they were both flat, just the same as they are in the front. That was like a conversion cost, like a conversion kit cost. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, it costed us less to get the taller racks than it did to get the converting kit lower rack, which is weird because it's less material. But with that being said, we were able to get two extra racks uh, for the same budget cost that we were looking to just get six uh, with the lowered height. So that was pretty sweet. But with these guys, our intentions with them is to put them in our back space here. So our lighting in here is god awful, and I'm sure you can see it on the camera. But we will be taking out this full rig. This rig set up here uh, only accounts for six barbell stations. So we will be tossing racks in that will account for eight barbell stations. And it'll probably take up about, I don't want to say half the space that this does. Um, but maybe about two thirds. So it'll actually free up a good portion of this backspace where we can put some more accessory equipment like our glute ham raises, bar storage, maybe some platforms, 
uh, some different things like that. Uh, we also will be upgrading the lighting, I think. I may have just said that, but if I didn't upgrade the lighting, then we have that bay door back there, which we will be busting out and putting some glass panes there with an emergency exit. So we will also have an addition of natural light coming in. Uh, what we intend on using this backspace for is some group training, some team training, um, alongside with our second facility that has a ton of turf space. So we will be doing a little bit of a hybrid between the two spaces, doing some speed drills. Uh, involving like sprinting, cone work, agility drills, things like that at the other facility, and a lot of our speed strength training at this facility. So, it's a little gym update for you guys. We are picking this video up into a new day. Uh, earlier today, Luis and I had done that commentary portion of the video, um, but one thing that we had done right after was kind of watching over some of the old YouTube videos that we had posted up over this past year. Uh, and to see the evolution of how I personally have changed, how the gym has changed and all these different things is, um, what the hell, <laughs> there's fucking horses. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, it's kind of interesting to see how things have evolved over these past few years. Um, not just how the gym is, how my mindset has changed, but also how I, how I look. Um, I definitely was a lot leaner and my training style hasn't really changed. Um, it's kind of a reality check in regards to where my mind was uh, and where it currently is now. And I feel like I've allowed myself to get just a little bit comfortable, um, which is a little upsetting, which is also a really good thing because it puts some fire up my ass. Um, I by no means am unsatisfied with uh, where I am or not proud with where I am, but uh, I definitely think I could be a lot farther uh, along if I hadn't let certain habits and rituals and um, disciplines slip up as I have over this past year. Um, I'm kind of just voicing out my thoughts on how I feel in this current timestamp because that was one of the coolest things looking back at those older videos is to see how I was, where my mindset was at, and how I spoke about things. But as of right now, um, you know, we've progressed a lot over this past year, but not to the degree that I know I'm capable of. So, with that being said, I need to refocus my shit, get my disciplines in line, uh, and make stuff happen, especially coming into this new year.